everybody. How are you doing? Hey, I hope you're all staying safe and being well in this entire thing that we have going on with this coronavirus and this quarantining and staying home. I've been home now for about mm, 60 days, maybe, maybe longer than that since around the first part of March. But I just wanted to pop in, find out how everybody's doing, and also just to let you know how much I miss you. So today, what I thought we would do, something maybe a little bit different, you know, you all know the songs that I normally do, but I thought maybe today we would do some different songs. So I went through my repertoire to see what I could come up with, and I came up with a few of them. Some of them you know, some of them we do when I'm playing for you, and some of them are kind of brand new. So I hope you like them. If you know them, you might have to reach way back in your memories, but if you know them, go ahead and sing along, okay? Oh, and Tomas, the cat, may wind up jumping up on the keys here. He's sleeping right now, but... He's had a terrible time. Every time I start playing, he comes and walks around the keyboard. So you may get to see him today. I know you've heard me talking about him. So anyways, we're going to do Abba Dabba Honeymoon first. This is one that we do. This is one that uh, I believe Debbie Reynolds did at one of her shows or one of her movies. I think it was 1950-something. So we'll do this one. Ready? singer I depend on you all to sing so go ahead and sing as loud as you want okay that, that's going to be kind of fun there's one that I found I don't know if any of you remember this song of my sweet little Alice blue gown it's a pretty 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 song I think from like I don't know the early 1900s someplace and one of the things that I really like about this song is the memories I get back off of it because I had a favorite dress when I was growing up and it actually was my mother's dress and it happened to be blue and it had those boat collars on it and the little cap sleeves and the belt and the real full skirt with the petticoats underneath it. I love this thing. My mom hated it, hated it when I would go after this dress and want to wear it. I think the last time I wore it I was in the eighth grade or something but she wasn't too happy about it. So let's see if we can get through this one. We'll see what happens, okay? In my
that song. Mm hmm? Ah, did you have a favorite dress? Well, not the guys. Well, maybe some of the guys. But did you all have a favorite dress, too? You know, when I get back there, you're going to have to tell me all about that. <coughs> I've got the music here. I'm kind of kind of moving things around. Now, this is a new song for me, and it might be a new song for you. I don't know. I think this one was about uh, 1920 or so, somewhere around somewhere around there. It's called, called The Blues My Naughty Baby Gives to Me. So I hope you know it. I hope you like it. So... you get from worry. It's kind of kind of interesting. I like the different chords in it. Do you guys like it? I hope you do. I hope so. Anyway, well, let's see what we have left. We have, oh, this is a good one. After you've gone. Know this one? After you've gone. Well, okay. We'll try this one. I don't know. I'm, I'm not singing well today. Well, I'm never singing well, but you all know that. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
nice. Yeah, I like that song. I don't know who sang this one. I suppose since I've been sitting, sitting at home, I probably should try to figure this out, right? And see, see, uh, you know, see who's who sung some of these songs. Here's one that I sometimes get requested for up at Five Star, and it's called uh, Alexander's Break Time Band. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> I won't put you through that. All right, here we go. Tomas to you earlier. Do you know what he did? The, you're never going to believe this the other night. He brought me in. He came running through the door and he's all happy. He's meow, meow, running through the door and he comes up and he, he comes in the other room and he drops half of a snake at my feet. Half of a snake. Now you're laughing. I sat there. I looked at this after I got done screaming. I, I figured, well, I better try and get this thing out of the house. So when I got off of the coffee table, I got down. I was looking at it, and I'm thinking to myself, I hope this thing doesn't crawl underneath the couch, slither underneath the couch. <sighs> it was like, no, I can't do this. So anyways, it came out and got my long, long grabber. And I went back in, and of course, by this time, the cat's sitting there messing around with a snake. And I'm thinking, oh, geez. So I had to kind of... <laughs> push the cat away from the snake. I grabbed the snake and took it outside. I'm going to dump it in the grass. And as I went outside, there's the other half of the snake wiggling. And I'm thinking, oh, uh -huh. you know, this is just too much. This is just too much. I threw that out. I went back and got the other piece that was kind of dancing around on the patio and threw it out. But the cat has been rather pleased with himself ever since then. And as for me, I had a couple of good drinks that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, the staying home stuff, you know, it, it, it's okay, I guess. But, you know, I really do miss everybody. I, seriously, you know, and, and I've thought about you guys often, many, many times. So I hope everything's all right. So here we go. Let's see what else do we have here on my list. Um, how about... How about <laughs> this this one? Well, let's see if I can find it here. I know I've got it. I'm actually playing with some music today. Normally I don't. Um, ah, here's one. Ball and the Jack. <laughs> At Ball and the Jack. This is a good song. And if you want to, you can actually get up and do this in your apartment. You know? will get us get us all moving and maybe when I get back over there which I hope will be sooner than later uh, we can all do this right and first you put your two knees close up tight swing them to the left swing them to the right strut around the floor kinda nice and light and then you move around and move around with all of your might remember that one okay here we go Oh, 
around with all of your mind Spread your love and arms way out in space Then you do the eagle rock with such style and grace Put your feet way round in the ring and back Now that's what I call ball and a jack Try the song. That actually is pretty fun. I like I like that. Now you're gonna to have to do that for me when I get back. Yes? Okay. Uh let's see what else I've got here on the list. Um this is one. I, I'm I'm sure you might know this one. I'm not sure I know it, but we'll try <laughs> we'll try it anyways. see everybody which is which has been really really great all right well let's see how about April showers uh, no we're in May at least I think we're in May can you believe we're halfway through May already I have friends that live in Michigan it's snowing up there so I suppose we ought to be happy for what we've got down here but let's do this one
was good. I think that was a hit by Al Jolson. Probably in the in the uh, nineteen early nineteen or maybe nineteen teens somewhere around there. So now this is one. This is one that I don't think I've ever played for you. I think some of these songs I've never played for you all. So I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, this is called Some of These Days. Remember Sophie Tucker did this, and um, uh, I think Mae West may have done it too. But I think this was a big hit for Sophie Tucker. So if you want to sing along, go ahead. Okay, here we go. Some, some, some of these days. Of course, you know I, I'm not changing keys for my voice. Oh, bad. Some of these days, you're gonna miss me, honey. Some of these days, you feel so with a couple of the folks in the Mummers, one of the groups that I'm with, because one of them says I'm singing it wrong. I said, no, I'm singing it the way Sophie Tucker sings it. And he says, well, there's a version for the guy who leaves. You know, when I leave you, you're gonna, I'm going to grieve you. Well, it's when you leave me, I know you'll, you'll grieve me. So it depends who's singing it. And in one of the other groups that I'm in, we did something really cute. One of the gentlemen there, fantastic singer, his name is Art, got up and he sang this and I took the microphone on the second chorus and I said to him, uh-uh, uh-uh, some of these days you're going to miss me, honey. <laughs> that was kind of cute. It actually worked out kind of good. Anyways, here's another one. Now this is, <clears throat> this is one, like I said, we're doing some songs today that I normally don't do. Uh, you know, I don't play them. They're not on the sing-along sheets, but I do play them, well, sort of. You can make up your own mind on that. Anyways, this one's called Chicago. Uh, you know, Chicago, Chicago, that talent. So, make yourselves at home. If you're from, who's from Chicago? Anybody? Anybody from Illinois? Okay, here we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Well, that was good. I think I'm. I think I'm through this. This one pile that we were that I was going to do for you. And let's see what else we've got here on the on the list. I have some. I had to try to figure out some of the um, some of the songs for you. Here's here's a good one. By the sea. Out of that, we are very much by the sea. So um, so we'll do this one. Let's see. Do you remember the old the old swimsuits? You know, my grandmother actually had me come up and she dug through a trunk in her attic one year and she pulls out this old gray swimsuit that I think was must have been from 1905 or something. It had the, the skirt on it. It was made out of wool, the puffy sleeves, the underwear, the bloomers that were on it, the little the little sailor collar, the bow here on, on the chest. Um, and she says, oh, honey, go ahead and go swimming. Well, the night before, she decided she was going to do my hair in rags. So I wound up that day looking like Shirley Temple. I had all these ringlet curls in my hair. And then she dresses me in that swimsuit and tells me to go down to the lake. Well, down at the lake were all of our friends, my cousins, my brother, sister, all the neighbors, kids, and everything. I walked up, and you should have seen them laughing at me. Oh, yeah, that was quite the thing. But what was even worse is when I got in the water, that wool was so heavy, it almost it almost sunk me. I had a hard time with that skirt and everything on the on the um, on the swimsuit. But it was interesting. I don't know of anybody else who's my age who's ever worn an original swimsuit that came from the early 1900s. But it was fun. It was kind of a nice memory. So here we go by the sea. <laughs> Ready? By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea, you and me, you and me, oh how happy we'll be. Which one comes aboard? Everybody for sweet. And we'll swamp and fool around the water, over and under, and then for you. Hot is rich, hot is rich, so hell, what do we care? Beside the sea, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea. Over and under and then for air, pot is rich, pot is rich, so hell what? Beside the sea, beside the sea, beside the seaside, by the beautiful sea. <laughs> That's a good song. I like that one. All right. Let me see. This camera is kind of doing some funny blinking things at me, and I'm not too sure why it's doing that. Oh, here's one. This one, and this one, I don't think I've ever done for you. It's called Hello, My Baby. Remember that one? Okay, we're going to try this. We're going to try it. No, I said try. Oh, let's see what happens. Okay? Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Thank you. 
good song. I like that one. All right, let's see what else we've got here on the list. I was trying to get some things. I think I told you I was trying to get some things that maybe you hadn't heard in a while or had, had ever heard me doing. So anyways, here's one. This is a good man is hard to find. Right? Ladies, will you agree with me? <laughs> Some other gal, and then you ring. going on with it and I'll be right back. Well, that wasn't very productive. I don't know what's wrong with it. I guess I gotta get the get the manual out and take a look at it. Let me move up here and put this camera back. Hopefully I'll get it in the right position. So huh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, well let's see what else we've got here. Um we did Hello My Baby. Uh, let's do Carolina in the Morning. I really like that song. So that's just a nice, easy listening song, yeah? <laughs>
really like that. You know, I really like that song too when I'm doing it with the banjo groups because the banjo guys just do such a great job out of that. And I don't know if you remember um, Ragtimes, my group, when I brought them there over Christmas time. And maybe they played the video for you um, where Brian was playing that. Brian is one of the best banjo players I think I've ever run into in, in I don't know how long. All right, here's one. This is called uh, Dark Town Strutter's Ball. And I used to play the piano with the guy, and he'd sing, I'll be down to get you in a wheelbarrow, honey. Taxis cost too darn much money. <laughs> yeah. Then, now. Yeah, right? <laughs> introduction to this song the verse not the chorus but the verse the night was kind of dark and you could hardly see for the moon refused to shine
it seems to me, didn't Doris Day do that in one of the movies she was in? Maybe it was Silvery Moon, or maybe I'm thinking of Moonlight Bay, I don't know. But I, I seems to me, I kind of remember her doing, that, her doing that song. But those are nice, those are, those are nice songs, you know, always like them, always like those ones. Well, let's see what else we have here on the list. Hmm. How about, let me see, uh... Hundreds, late 1800s, early 1900s. Those are really kind of neat songs. Here's you have Daisy. You have Take Me Out to the Ball Game. All came around the, about the same time. You have uh, She's Only a Bird in a Gilded Cage. Uh, yeah, there, there were actually some really pretty good songs that, that all came out about the same time. This one actually, I think, came out about 1921. This is going to be a listening song. I'll see how far I can get in this. It's St. Louis Blues. I want to see the evening sun go down. That's about all the words I know. So we'll see how far I get in this one, yeah?
Hey, that was pretty good. I like that one. Let me see. Well, I think I'm about done with the with the songs that I had here on my list for you. Yeah, this has been fun. I do have one more. And um, this this song actually was written by um, Jerome Kern <coughs> for the Ziegfeld Follies for Marilyn Miller. He actually wrote uh, two songs for her in the Ziegfeld Follies. And one was this one and one was the song called Who. And I think this song was kind of a... Uh, uh, maybe a World War I song. It was around that time frame. If it wasn't right at World War I, it became one of the favorite songs from there. So I want to do it for you. If you know the song, please sing along with me. I think it's kind of uh, apropos for what's going on right now with us here with all these viruses and, and things that are happening in the world. I know things will get better. you guys and I really look forward to being back with you soon. Take care.